Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. How are you, students? Today we will start new chapter. Chapter number eleven. Sound. Sound is what is sound. Sound is the perception of hearing. Sound is the perception of hearing. So, anything which produces the perception of hearing is called sound. We will study in detail. We know that vibration of objects in any medium produce waves. For example, vibrator of ripple tank produces water waves. The medium in this case is liquid but it can also be a gas or solid. Waves produced in the ripple tanks depends on the frequency of the vibrator. If the frequency of vibrator is audible, it can produce the perception of hearing. If the frequency is not audible, it will not produce the perception of hearing. Different, different sounds have different frequencies. Some sounds are audible and some are not audible. Audible frequency range is from 20 hertz to 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, 20,000 kilo kilo hertz. It is human audible range, human audible range. Now, we will study in detail. Definition. Vibration that travel through the air or an other medium and can be heard when they reach a person or an animal air. All sounds are produced by the vibration of objects. When something vibrates, sound is produced. Sound is a form of energy that travels in the form of waves from one place to another place. So, when something vibrates, sound is produced. Sounds, sounds are sound carry energy from one place to another place. Sounds carry disturbance from one place to another place. Like other waves, sound is also produced by vibrating bodies. Due to vibration of bodies, the air around them also vibrates. And, they <clears throat> and the air vibration produces sensation of sounds in our air, sensation of hearing. For example, in a guitar, Sound is produced due to the vibration of its string. Our voice result from the vibration of our vocal cords. Human hearts beats and vibration of other organs like lungs also produce sounds. Depending on the frequency or uh, depending on the number of vibration. Sound travels in waves. Sound travels Sound must travel through matter to be heard. Remember, matter can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. A sound is made when things vibrate. When things vibrate. Sound travels by sending vibration through matter. Sound travels through matter. 
most of the sounds we hear travels through gases such as air. In air, the velocity of sound is less. In liquid, molecules are closer, so the sound's velocity speed is more, velocity is more. Sounds, some sounds that we hear travels through solids. In solids, the speed is more. Speed is more. Because the molecules are closer. Closer will be the molecule, higher will be the speed. In liquid, in gases, molecules are further. In liquid, it is closer. And in solid, it is more closer. So, more closer will be the molecules or atom, higher will be the speed. Sound waves travel slowly through the air. Sound waves travel faster through water than as compared to gases. Sound travels very fast as compared to liquid and gases in solid. Sound permeable or an alarm clock travels through the air or horn. Sonar is the way to locate objects underwater. For example, when you hit a drum, it, it vibrates. Then the sound travels through the air to your, uh, your air. Sound speed, sound travels through air. Speed will become greater. Speed will become much more greater. In solid, velocity is 450, more than 450 meter per second. Here the velocity is changes depending on density. And here is 330 meter per second. 332, 331, depending, on, um, depending upon the temperature. Depending upon the temperature. Sound waves produce when something vibrates. When something vibrates. Sound waves is produced by vibrating bodies. Due to vibration of sound, due to vibration of due to due to vibration of bodies, the air around them also vibrates and the air vibration produces sensation of sound in uh, or air. For example, in a guitar, sound is produced due to the vibration of strings or voice results from the vibration of vocal cords. Human heart beats and vibration of other organs like lungs also produce some sounds. Doctor use stethoscope to hear this sound. The nature of sound waves is magnitude and it travels in the form of compression and rare friction. Compression and rare friction. Tuning for produce compression and rare friction to produce sound. Where the atoms are closer, it is called compression. Atom are closer. Where the gas molecules are compressed, gas molecules are compressed by the tuning fork. It produces compression. And when a gap is created, when molecules are further from each other, a rare friction is produced. The direction of propagation of sound waves is along the direction of, of oscillating air molecules. So it's longitudinal. Nature of sound is longitudinal and travel in the form of compression and rare friction. Rare friction. Only natural example of uh, only natural example of longitudinal wave. So you will read this and I will explain it with the help of diagram. Here, sound is produced by the speaker. The speaker produces sound. 
this is rare friction molecules are further here molecules are compressed so compression uh, compression molecules are further rare friction compression rare friction so when it compress this is uh, the uh, when it produce sound it compress the air molecules and when there is a gap for uh, there is fluctuation in the intensity of sound accordingly the molecule will be arranged <clears throat> according to the intensity of sound more compression sometime less compression sometime greater compression sometime uh, um, uh, moderate compression so it will be according to the intensity of sound compression and rare friction depend on the intensity of sound so sound is a form of energy sound carry disturbance from one place to another place sound waves are uh, the nature of sound waves is longitudinal and it propagates in the form of compression and rare friction this is called tuning fork so when the tuning fork move to this position rare friction is produced when the tuning fork go in this position it compress the sound waves when it go back in this direction rare friction is produced compression rare friction compression rare friction so sound waves propagate in the form of compression and rare friction this is the direction of propagation of waves direction of propagation of waves direction in which waves travels now if i will change the color if this is rare friction and this is one complete compression then this distance is called wave length this distance is called wave length this distance is called wave length so the distance occupied by one wave one crest one trap is called wave length in transverse waves this is called crest and this is called trap so this distance is called wave length this is crest this region is called trap the region below is called trap and the region above is called crest and one one crest one si uh, one trap one crest one trap means one cycle now characteristic of sound waves sounds of different objects can be distinguished on the basis of different characteristics loudness is the sound is the characteristic of sound by which loud and faint sound can be distinguished loudness of sound depend upon a number of factors
For example, when we talk to our friend, our voice is low. But when we uh, address a public gathering, our voice is louder. When you hit the drum slowly, sound is loudness is uh, the sound will be the loudness will be lesser. But when you hit it forcefully, more will be the loudness. It depends on the following factors, amplitude of the vibrating body, area of the vibrating body, and distance from the vibrating body. Amplitude of the vibrating body. The amplitude of the sound waves determines its loudness or volume. A larger amplitude means a louder sound, and a smaller amplitude means a softer sound. The vibration of a, of a source sets uh, the amplitude of a wave. It transmits energy into the medium, medium through its vibration. More energetic vibration corresponds to larger amplitude. The molecules move back and forth more vigorously. The, loud, the loudness of a sound is also determined by the sensitivity of the air. The human ear is more sensitive to some frequencies than to other. The volume we receive does depend upon both the amplitude of a sound wave and whether its frequency lies in a, re, uh, in a region where the air is more or less sensitive. For example, If you hit this forcefully, louder will be the sound. If you hit the drum slowly, loudness will be low. But if you hit it with the forcefully, drum membrane vibrate with larger amplitude. So if you hit a sound slowly, amplitude will be less. If you hit forcefully, amplitude will be larger. But if you hit with greater, more forcefully, more will be the amplitude. More will be the loudness of sound. More will be the loudness of sound. So, if you exert more force, louder will be the sound. If you hit forcefully, you increase the loudness. Loudness depend upon, directly depend upon the amplitude. Area of the vibrating body. Uh, the traditional uh, instrument used in uh, KPK, one, uh, one used by uh, a famous singer, I think Adnan Samihan in uh, his song, Dolak. So the vibrating area of Dolak is, uh, is lesser. So the, the sound loudness is uh, low. But the drum, the area of the drum, drum membrane is more as compared to dolak so uh, uh, a louder sound will be produced so more will be the area of the vibrating body more will be the loudness less is the area of vibrating body this will be the loudness for example if you hit uh, this area is less and this area is more so it will produce louder sound and, and its loudness will be low the loudness of this will be low
The loudness of the sound also depend on the area of vibrating body. Greater the area of vibrating body, louder will be the sound. If you take two drums, one small and the other one bigger one, the other one bigger, and beat both the both of them to produce vibration in them, we will notice that the sound produced from the big drum is louder than that produced from the smaller drum. In temples, you must have noticed that the bell with a big case produce a louder sound than that with a small case. More will be the area, more will be the loudness. This is the area, this will be the loudness. Sharply. Distance from the vibrating body. More will be the distance this will be the loudness of sound. Your distance is, if you are near to the vibrating object, you will hear a louder sound. If you are uh, far away from the vibrating object, um, you will uh, hear a sound with low loudness. Loudness of a sound also depend upon the distance of the vibrating body from the listener. It is caused by the decrease in amplitude due to increase in distance. Loudness also depends upon the physical condition of the listener. A sound appears louder to a person with sensitive ear than to a person with defective ear. Pitch. Pitch is the characteristic of sound by which we can distinguish between a shrill and a grave sound. If you can distinguish between the sounds of your father and your mother, it is called pitch. If you can distinguish between sound of male and female, it is called pitch because frequency is different. So pitch is frequency dependent property. More will be the pitch, more will be the frequency. Easy will be the differentiation. This, uh, the pitch of sound, female sounds, is more as compared to the sounds of male. Your brother sound will be louder as compared to the sound of your sister. Because the sounds of male have high loudness, more vibrating area, more amplitude. And the female sound have high pitch, are uh, called high pitch sound. So females sounds have a uh, high frequency, high pitch, and uh, male sounds is louder, more vibrating area, more will be the vibe, uh, more will be the loudness. So the male sounds ha have high loudness uh, as compared to female sound, and the female sounds have high pitch. Uh, as compared to the sounds of male. Female sounds are high pitch, high frequency sounds, and male sounds are high loudness. The frequency of a sound wave is what your ear understand as pitch. A higher frequency sound has a higher pitch, and a low frequency sound has a low pitch. For instance, The trip of a bird would, ha uh, would have a high uh, pitch, but the roar of a lion ha would have a low pitch. The line, the loudness of uh, line sound is more as compared to the loudness of a trip of a bird. And the bird uh, sound have high frequency, high pitch. Now, if you cannot differentiate a sound because of pitch and loudness, then you, you can differentiate, you can use another property called quality of sound. Because some sounds have same pitch and same loudness, loudness but still you can differentiate. That is called quality of sound.
the characteristic of sound by which we can distinguish between two sounds of same loudness and which is called quality of sound. If you can distinguish between the sound of uh, uh, sitar and uh, guitar, the sound of sitar and guitar have same loudness, uh, have same loudness and same pitch, uh, but still we can differentiate. Uh, this is called quality of sound. We can differentiate between the sounds of flute and piano, although both have same pitch and same loudness. It is only because of quality of sound. In the given diagram, this sound and this sound have same amplitude and same, uh, same pitch and same frequency. This sound and this sound have same loudness and pitch, but still we can differentiate. This is called quality of sound. If you look here, and if you look here, it is different. If you look here, and if you look here, if you look to this area, this area, and if you look to this area, is different. We can differentiate between, between these sounds only because of or tone, or tone, O V E R, or tone. Here and here, there is difference. This is called or tone. So, in some sounds, two different sounds, sitar and guitar have same loudness and pitch, but their maximum value have overtone. Either the guitar or the sitar, or both have different overtone. So we can differentiate between uh, some sounds which have same loudness and same pitch because of overtone present there. So if uh, loudness is that property, are that characteristic of sound by which a shrill sound can, uh, by which a faint and a louder sound can be distinguished. Pitch, those sounds which have different frequencies. Quality of sound having same pitch and same loud, uh, loudness, but still we can differentiate uh, is called quality of sound. Now, revise, we will revise this now. Sound is the perception of hearing. Sound is the perception of hearing which produce the sensation of hearing. Vibrations, when something vibrates, sound is produced. More will be the vibration, more will be the frequency, louder will be the sound. Sound travels through air, sound travels through solid, sound travels through liquid. Closer will be the molecule, molecules or atom in a medium, louder will be the sound. Sound travels with different velocity and different material. For example, in cases, speed of sound will be 330 or near about, depending upon the temperature and many other factors. 330, 331, 332, 345 different range in different cases, depending on density, pressure, and temperature. In liquid, molecules are closer as compared to gases, so speed will be more. In solid, it will be much more, because molecules are more, most closely packed. Sound waves produced when something vibrates. 
Sound waves are longitudinal in nature. It propagates in the form of compression and rare friction. This is the, in this, this diagram shows the compression and rare friction. This is another diagram which explains amplitude and wavelength. Characteristic of sound waves. First, loudness, by which a loud and faint sound can be distinguished. Empty, uh, depend, uh, loudness depends upon the amplitude of the vibrating body, area of the vibrating body, and distance from the vibrating body. More will be the amplitude, more will be the uh, more, uh, more louder will be the sound. More, more will be the area of vibrating body, louder will be the sound. Uh, less will be the distance, louder will be the sound. Pitch. Pitch is the characteristic by which a shrill and grave sound can be distinguished. Quality. When two sounds having same loudness and pitch, but still you differentiate a scarred quality of sound. It is due to the presence of overtone in the sound. Thank you, students. This is today's lecture. Revise it. And uh, next topic is intensity level. Thank you, students. So this chapter uh, is the, this chapter is totally based on sound. So I play sound for you. So I hope so that you will like it. <laughs>